Mark Lacasse One. Hi Chris, I'm reading your book and it's very interesting. If someone had the possibility to write an email to a Sea Org member recently in, would it be a good idea? If so, what would the good things to write about to wake him, her up? Okay, when somebody's in the C organization, they are in a very controlled environment. They are monitored 24-7. They are, their schedule is controlled 24-7. Uh, unless they happen to get a, a, a leave or some time off to go visit family or something, you're, you have to understand that when you're writing to a person like that, especially with like an email or a, or a short phone call, there is nothing you're going to say to them that's going to wake them up, that's going to snap them out of it. It doesn't work that way. Never works that way. Uh, I've never heard of a case of somebody saying magic words to somebody and they go, oh, wow, I, what am I doing here? And they stand up and walk out. Doesn't happen, okay? So you need to, you need to bring the expectation level down. When you're, when you're dealing with a Sea Org member especially, if you're going to write an email to them with the, with the intention of um, getting them eventually to wake up or to start seeing that something's wrong, the, that's not going to happen really in an email. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying it can't ever happen, but you got to just realize what you're talking to, okay? So my advice, my general advice for people, anybody out there who isn't fully educated on, on cults, destructive cults, what makes up destructive cults, who isn't fully educated on the mind control techniques that Scientology uses, and isn't fully educated on the lifestyle and what goes on on a daily basis for somebody who's in the C organization. If you're not, if you're not really, if you don't really have a good grip on all of that, then which most people don't, then my advice is don't get into it. Instead, maintain communication with that person by talking to them about things that they can easily comfortably talk about and will want to continue talking to you about them. Like for example, if the person's really into movies, then write them an email and tell them how you're doing, ask how they're doing, and talk about movies. Keep it, and you know, I'm talking about non-Scientology related stuff. Keep it anchored in the real world, but keep it also anchored in things that you know this person will not become alarmed by you saying to them. And if you start saying things to a Sea Org member like, you know, I read this, you know, article about Scientology or boy, that David Miscavige really doesn't seem like he's got his head on straight or you start going anywhere near that, they're going to hit the eject button. You're going to become somebody that they're going to have a hard time justifying continuing to talk to. And they're going to find it very easy to not talk to you anymore because they got other Sea Org members to talk to. Right, And that's how that rolls. So you don't want to do that. You do not want to give them a reason to alienate or to feel alienated from you. So, so keep it real, but keep it light, and keep it so that they're going to want to write you back. And then you're going to write them back, and you're going to be able to maintain a communication with them right? that's not hostile or antagonistic in any way to Scientology. That's my best advice. Because then, if and when, at some point in the future, they do start experiencing doubts or problems or something's not right in their world, they might be willing to tell you about it. Whereas, if you antagonize them, or rather antagonize Scientology, or say there's something wrong with it, they're going to put the shields up and they're not, going to, they're, they're not going to be willing to talk to you anymore. Or they're going to only restrict what they're going to talk to you about because they're going to feel that you're somebody who's not what they would call a safe terminal. You know, somebody they can actually be open with and share things with. It's a miracle if you can actually maintain a good, friendly communication with somebody who's in the Sea Org for any length of time. Because that world is a very closed world. And it's not a world that is, that it, by its nature, it's not open to outside communications and outside interference. And it's very guarded against those things. So that's my best advice.